Good day, YouTube. This is just a quick and fun video comparison between Elementary OS on the left and Pop OS Linux on the right. So grab your stein of coffee and let's get started. Okay, so starting off, we have Elementary OS version 5 on the left and Pop OS version 20.10 on the right. So both the latest releases there. Now, they are actually both based on Ubuntu, except Elementary OS is based on the long-term service release of Ubuntu, so a little bit older there. And uh, we have the Pop! OS uh, is based on the latest release of Ubuntu, which you might guess from this version in here, 20.10, which actually stands for uh, 2020 October, so <laughs> the latest release there. Now, uh, they are both uh, uh, point releases, so they get updated uh, ever so often, maybe every six months or so, but not of the rolling release variety there. The desktop environments are actually quite different here, so although they are actually both based on the, the, the GTK uh, toolkit there, we've got the GNOME desktop environment, really uh, quite the, uh, a little bit uh, default desktop environment in my opinion there. Uh, the GNOME 3, for instance. But um, on the left-hand side for elementary, we've got something that's a little bit different, a little bit Mac OS-esque. It's, uh, in fact, um, the in-house or homegrown uh, desktop environment there. So the elementary OS crew have made that one there themselves, which is nice. Using the same toolkits, basically, but uh, yeah, very different outcome in terms of what they get. So you've got your little heads-up display. You can look at what you want to look at there, but that's pretty much it. Now, moving on, uh, let's have a look at, say, the, uh, the, the file managers. So this isn't anything to write home about, but they're both basically using this GNOME files file manager there. Uh, nice color tones or color accents on the, the Pop! OS for sure. The uh, next up would be having a look at the, uh, the kernel. So we've got a slightly older kernel due to the long-term service release that elementary OS is based on. So we're running on the 5.4 kernel, whereas on Pop! OS, uh, we are running on the 5.8 kernel, which means you, if you've got newer hardware, it's just generally better supported, you know, CPUs, graphics cards, you name it. Now, lastly, we have the, uh, having a look at the, the, the hardware resource utilization. Bit of a mouthful, that one, but uh, we are seeing some key differences here. Now, the CPUs look okay, mostly idling out there. For the elementary OS, running at about 630 megabytes of RAM, uh, straight off the bat on boot up, nothing else loaded there. On the Pop! OS side, something that I've not really been a fan of, a full gigabyte on boot up. It's, uh, it's just uh, at least 1,005 megabytes, just short of the full gigabyte, technically at 1,024 megabytes. But it's just something I'm not really uh, quite the fan of there. It's even starting to use the swap drive here, which is a bit of a shame. But uh, yeah, there are some key differences. I wouldn't say double the RAM, but certainly get in there on its way there with Pop! OS. So it depends on what kind of hardware you use at home, be it an older laptop or an older desktop. Yeah, it really depends on you guys in that case there, but always something to keep an eye out for and just be aware of. But that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see you guys there in the next one. Cheers.